Hello there, Dr. Sheep here. Welcome back to our TJF Talks, episode 76, 77. I'm, no, 76. I'm your host, Dr. Sheep. Join my co host, and I'm his Phil. Hi. Let's roll the intro. Wouldn't you like to get away? Oh boy. Gotta restart. Wouldn't you like to get away? It's, 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 it's Friday. Hold on. Oh. <laughs> See, gonna, when I... We're going to have to rerun the intro here, folks. Sorry. No. New scene. Get rid of that. Hold on. We'll, we'll talk about it afterwards. Wouldn't you like to get away? It's, 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 it's Friday. Gotta, 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 gotta get down Friday. And they're always magic cake. These podcasts are broken down into four parts. First, we have... How weeks have been followed by the news, followed by your comments. So Zach from only one comment this week. Ah. Followed by uh, a random fourth topic that we have no idea what's going to be. Uh, today's. Uh, so okay, as you were so okay, the webcam. It used to be over here. Yeah. But it, the cord's not long enough, and two, I want it right in front of my face when I'm doing. Recordings. So just look there. Don't look here. I mean, I'm used to it because when I'm recording with the camera anytime, I'm always looking at the lens or I'm trying to anyways. Wait, can you flip the... Can you put this screen on that screen? Uh, yeah, but I don't want to mess with it today. Oh. Because I'd have to set up a, a new scene. Because I'd have to tell it to record this scene, this screen, instead of that screen. And that requires me to. Oh. Do, can I, I, I can do it. Can I'm just trying to look at your facial expression when I talk. Well, you can just look here. Oh, that's so. It's such an awkward angle. It's easier for me to, you know, slightly turn my head and look at the camera. No, this is better. Okay. Anyways, how has your? It's been it's been two weeks. So how have you it? been the past two weeks? Oh, good, good. I've done lots of uh, research on the trip and. Uh, I don't think it's going to be in our best... I don't think we're gonna, the weather is going to be in our best fortune. It is going to be cloudy, it looks like. Or at least partly cloudy. At least for Hyannis, it's partly cloudy. Yeah. Oh, well, every single place around Nebraska. Because I found like 10 different locations. All kind of just various parts of the state. Yeah. You know, upper panhandle, lower panhandle. Before you even get to the panhandle, just everywhere. They could find a border one sky, and yeah, they're all cloudy, or at least well, partly cloudy, or thunderstorms, or rainy, or whatever. So I think all the, three the, days. Yeah, well, Sunday night is still up in the air, but definitely Friday night. I have my. What about Saturday night? It's Saturday night too. I have my doubts. Those forecasts will actually. Well, yeah, like I said, it's three day forecast is usually the best. It will usually give you the most accuracy in terms of future. Obviously, the best is like, oh, what is it right now? That yeah. that is the best. <laughs> that look up. Oh, yep, yep. The skies are good. It's freaking. <laughs> oh, oh. In friend, it's clear tonight apparently. Really? Because my phone said it's raining there. It's, it's clear. Let's see. It is well. It, it'll be. Cloudy at 10, though. Well, I know, I know. I'm just saying it's what it says. It's right clear. now it's clear, but at 10 it'll be cloudy. And at 1 a.m., super cloudy. 4 a.m., chance of thunderstorms. So, yeah. See, mine's got Sunday night. Yeah, like you said, Sunday night might be our best night. Yeah. Mostly clear. This is high ass, anyways. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I don't know. But, yeah. Wait, you, I can't, I guess my app doesn't let me look at the, the nights. That's just what Well, I guess, channel. yeah, it says, now it's cleared up. We'll see. I, again, like, like you said, it's always changing, and... For some reason, now it's cleared up. Well, it. what it was, it was straight up cloudy. Well, now it looks like it's going to be clear. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> well, see, this, it's, it's Hurricane Ida. 
I just screwed with stuff. It's screwing with... That's it's, why it's going to rain tomorrow. And that's affecting our weather here? Yeah, so if you look at the map, it's it's this crazy thing. So you can see Ida, and you saw I can see its tracks. And then I'm seeing the storms here in Nebraska, and basically... It's pushing them away. No, no, no. no it, they, they, they're stuck here. Oh. Because it's hitting... Because there's a high pressure system that's stopping... Because Ida's going... What their track... If it were to be able to sustain itself over the land, it's going to go towards the Appalachians up into Virginia. When, why? It could just as easily go west. Yeah. Well, it's because there's a high pressure system there, and mm. then there's storms behind that high pressure system, and they're getting stuck here. Mm. Because Ida is keeping the high pressure system here. Yeah. And so we're getting a low pressure system causing storms here. That's for, is that for the whole state or for Lincoln? That's the whole state. The whole state? Because, I mean, these are, we're talking big fronts that are covering mm -hmm. the whole, all of the United yeah. States. But anyways, uh, if this is right, it looks like Friday will be partly cloudy. But then Saturday and Sunday would be clear. Yeah, so I, don't, don't count your blessings yet. Mulan is the best location. That I found. Well, yes, north of Mulan. But Saturday and Sunday. Yeah, like, thought, let's let's not talk about that. We don't want to jinx ourselves. Don't, yeah, don't jinx we it. Can, we can talk about it in the fourth segment yeah. if we don't come up with something before then. Oh, yeah, that reminds me. Uh, I guess it'll kind of determine on Kyle, too, because he needs to finish his homework. Because, I guess, you know, I don't want to be going on this whole trip and then right. we come back Monday well, night and he has homework to finish. So I told him, you know, let me know how your homework goes. You know, make sure you finish it. Because, I mean... He can work on the way up there. Yeah. I guess he wants to read on the way. He wants to finish another book. He could finish another three books. He has four days. That's, that is true. He has four days. Yeah. Anyways. Uh, you need to get an so, so Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. I called Will. He's like, all right. So tomorrow night <laughs> after work, I got to come back here. I'll probably change. I'll go to Walmart. And then... Well, no. I guess... No. Sorry. I'm not doing it tomorrow night. Tomorrow night, I'll just go to Walmart, come back home, mm -hmm. and then uh, Wednesday after work, I'll just go to my dad's, have yeah. him change the oil. We'll be set to go before this weekend. The, yeah. the, why did your dad not let you take the car? Because it has over 200,000 miles, and he's like, yeah, your car's going to easily run into problems. Or at least he doesn't want it to run into problems, and we're clear out in the panhandle. Yeah, it'd be fine. It has over 200,000 miles, and he's like, yeah. That's just an accident waiting to happen. We'll get to spend the night under the stars, then. Or yeah, a few we'll days. What, what, what if it dies in the lions? Then we have a, a light-polluted sky that's worse than we are here. Well, no, no, Alliance is fine. That's, I mean, yes, we're not going to get the stars, but we're an alliance at least. Civilization. Ah, uh, yes. We can t we'll hitchhike the train home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That'll be a good excuse to finally get fired. A, oh, yeah, yeah, we take a train home. Yep, we'll just hitchhike the train home. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, good. And then if I don't show up till Tuesday, they can fire me then. Oh, yeah, that was the other thing I wanted to talk about is, um, are we going to be eating out a lot or making food or how's meals working? We're going to have to pack food again, I think. But I think we should figure out, I don't know, maybe, maybe instead of like packing like full on... Because, like, the stopping, the getting and making the sandwiches, that was so annoying. And, like, they were sitting on ice and all the meat and stuff was, like, cup was filled with water by the time we were done with the whole trip. I ended up throwing away a bunch of the turkey I had. Yeah. And so I'm like, I don't want to screw with that again. So I'm like, what if we just pack, like, dry food? So, like, uh, you know, chips, that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. And then we just stop. Because we're always stopping at gas stations anyways. We can grab something. Uh, just, you know. Okay. I have your laptop. Do you have your money? No. Well, uh, oh yeah. Uh, I guess I wanted to uh, get my stuff off of Amazon. Because I wouldn't even be able to use the laptop. Why? Until I get an HDMI cable. I have an HDMI cable. Oh, you are selling that? Yeah. Oh, okay. I was going to give you... I, I was digging around. I have a 
when it's oh, not this okay. long. So I'm like, ah, oh, perfect. <laughs> I'm never going to use this thing. Like, get, Phil can have it. Oh, well, I guess I'll give you the money later. I'll, yeah. Well, you know what? You're, we're going to be trading money back and forth on this trip anyways. Yeah. Just knock $100 out of it. Yeah. So basically, uh, you pay for one night's room. I'll pay. F- you pay for two nights worth of room and board. Well, how many how many days are we staying? We're staying three nights, right? Well, I guess here here's here's what we'll do. We'll just no no. If we're staying three nights, yeah. Kyle pays one night, and then you pay two nights, and then I. Well, I mean, I don't know if the, all the nights will be equal. I just figured what we well, could. They should be. They were last time. Yeah, I guess we could do that. No, I was just thinking, you know, at the very end of the trip, just subtract the total from the laptop off what I owe you, and that'll just be like. Technically, you have to. Add on to what you owe me. Oh, yeah, yeah, Well, I guess... But you now have the... Whatever. Yeah. Just... I'll have you buy me a hundred bucks worth of crap, <laughs> and then we'll call it good. <laughs> okay. Don't worry. We'll figure it out. We'll, we'll, it, it's a it's, it's hundred bucks at least. It'll be super easy. Like I said, it's, it's one night's room and board and like a sandwich. Yeah. So, again, we'll have to just look in the morning. But... Okay. Oh, yeah, so, so, yeah. Right. Um... Well, I wanted to save the whole talking about the trip stuff for the fourth segment. All right. So. Yeah, yeah, sure. So my job. Yeah, your job. Are you uh, looking for other jobs <laughs> or are you sticking with this job? Oh, my God. So, okay, okay. Let's uh, – actually, I got to tell – let's let's just set the stage for what we're leading up to. So I had to go down to where our cousin works mm-hmm. uh, today for Which work. One? The older one. The one that's not in Colorado. Oh, Her okay. sister. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, anyways, I go down there because I deliver some tables for my work. And this is on the clock. Yeah, I got paid. Oh. I drove two hours and got paid. Yeah. So you had to drive to deliver her tables. Yes. So I drove down there to deliver the tables, and I didn't use my truck. I got to drive a big F two fifty, so you know oh, yeah. I didn't have to pay for diesel or gas or anything. Oh, okay, okay. So you drove this truck. So, anyways, I drove down there, and this is the. Third time in the last two weeks I've been down there. To her place? <laughs> to, uh, yeah, to where she works Wait, down why? there. Well, so last Monday for training, and then last Wednesday for uh, my fit test for my mask uh-huh. for uh, anhydrous. Okay. And then to deliver the tables today. To her place or to the place by her? Where, where she works. Oh. Because she wor- I work in the same company she does now. Oh, you do? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. That's where she found this job for me. Oh. So anyways, I, I get down there, and I bring in the first table, and she's like, so, and she says, she's like, do you like it? Hate it? I'm like, I pause for a minute. I'm like, hate's a word. She's like, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I'm just like, oh, it's like a movie. Hate's a word you could use to describe <laughs> my feelings. <laughs> Yes, I hate my new job. What? <laughs> okay. On his on, on a Menards tier, set Menards at a bottom or so middle. So one or? All right, all right. On a scale of zero to one, Menards is 0. 0.5. 0. 0.5? Okay. Well, oh, hold on. Let's, let's put Menards as like, okay, actually, you know what? Let's put it on a 0 to 10. 10 being I absolutely hate this job and I'm never going to do this ever again. 0 is like the dream job. Let's Wait, put, okay. Let's put... My, Wait, why is it like... Okay, I feel like best should be 10. No. Anyways, so... Okay, zero, 0 is the ideal job. 10 is... No. I, let's I put it. Menards at like a 5 to a 7. Somewhere in there. Not Maybe a 6. I don't know. Somewhere in there. Okay. Because so like, I have only had two jobs. I can't compare. Okay. This is like a 9 or a 10. I so, hate it that much. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh. See, you're messing me up with your scale. Okay, sorry. It's a <laughs> 0 or 1. <laughs> yeah, 0 means I hate it. 10 means I love it. Best job ever. Yeah, it's like a Menard 0 Menard is like a 3. Yeah. Menard is like a 3. To, a 3 is, to 5. And this is like a zero, so it's worse than Menards. Zero to one, most definitely. Now, okay, it's nice because I don't have to work with uh, 
guests and strangers that are stupid yet yeah, anyways mm-hmm. um however the the co-workers they're the same but they don't talk yeah because here's their work here's how they were this asked them like on the first day because we sat there and did nothing yeah and nobody talked what Mm-hmm. I <laughs> sat for eight hours, nine really technically, because it was eight to five. You get an hour off the clock break? Yeah, but I I just went up and ate lunch for like thirty minutes, mm-hmm. and then went back. Yeah, I sit. You're you're hourly. Yeah, I sat there for nine hours effectively, doing nothing. No one's talking. They're just on their phones. What? Yep. What? And we did do some work, but... You're joking. No. You sat there at a table. No, not even a table. I just sat there in a freaking lawn chair. Like a... Like a table. I took a chair. It's not even a comfy chair. It's an uncomfortable chair. You, for eight hours, just on your phone? Yep. I did that all week. Wait, wait. Can your phone show screen time? What do you mean? I want to see your screen time. I want to see just oh. how much screen time you spend. No, because I can't stay on my phone constantly because I don't have unlimited data. Oh, oh, wait. They didn't have Wi-Fi at this place? Not, not in the shop. So what do you... So, and I didn't want to burn my battery. So I just... I, I sat there and twiddled my thumbs. <laughs> You're joking. No! You're joking. So, okay. So, Wednesday, what? when I got back... You spent the- for nine hours? Yeah, so Wednesday when what I got... What did your boss do? He sits up in his office on the computer doing stuff. And he didn't give you anything to do? No. <laughs> what? There's nothing to do right now. I mean, okay, like, what we're supposed to be doing is winterizing uh, these water tanks. So you can literally take a nap at your job. I'm getting to that. So Wednesday, I get back from uh, getting fit test for my Breaking Bad mask. Okay. It's literally one of those full face. Oh yeah, the, the respirators that we wanted. Yeah, but it's they were a hundred bucks each. I'm gonna. I uh, I can't get one of those because I have to go to the doctors to get approved to wear one. I don't have a doctor, and I'm probably quitting in the next two weeks. So I'm not even. Gonna <laughs> okay. Okay. Even though they would pay for it. Uh, anyways, so I could just go to urgent care and do it, but then I have to take another. Continue. Early. Anyways. So I get back Wednesday, and I about died on the way back, because uh, I was falling asleep. <laughs> okay. So I get back. I'm tired. I sit down in my lawn chair. I just pass out. At like five o'clock or what time? No, 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 no. This was ten o'clock in the uh, nine o'clock in the morning. Nine o'clock in the morning. No, no, sorry, ten o'clock in the morning. You passed out. You're mm-hmm. tired. Yeah, passed out for like an hour. What time you have to wake up for that job? Uh, six thirty. Oh, okay. Maybe you're a little tired. But I go to bed at eleven. Yeah. Okay. Any, anyway, so, so you, you pass know. out. So I pass out. Wake up like an hour later. We do some work. Did your boss wake you up? No. You just woke up. Actually, I've taken multiple naps since then. Now <laughs> I often wake up and there's just nobody there because they all went to either lunch or went to do something else. <laughs> and they just like. <laughs> left me there. <laughs> left you there. Didn't bother to ask you what you wanted to eat. No, they were like, you want to come? No one ever asked if I want to go to lunch. They just leave me there. Pass out. <laughs> Anyways. So then today I got back and I was like, I'm tired. You know what? There's an hour before lunch. I'm going to take a nap. I woke up right before lunch started. So I went, had lunch. <laughs> it was a very quick day because I got there, sat around for an hour, <laughs> then went on this two hour excursion, got back, took a nap. Woke up, ate lunch, and then we spent all afternoon pumping water out of a big uh, liquid fertilizer tank. Hmm. Which, I don't know, that was okay. I, I was covered in fertilizer. Yeah. I probably should have taken a shower as they instruct, but yeah, whatever. <laughs> what anyway. the heck? Yeah. You, you I sit around of, all I do, day? Yeah, and I take lots of naps now. <laughs> so it won't be that big of a deal because tomorrow's supposed to be kind of rainy. So hopefully I'll get a nap. You get paid more than hours, right? Oh, Sixteen ten an hour. <laughs> so what are you complaining about? 
There's nothing to, like, today was great. There were things to do. I even got a nap in. So, like, today was perfect. <laughs> I only had to sit around doing nothing. <laughs> oh, that's great. Today was great. We actually did some work, got some stuff done, and I, and I, got, my, and I got my nap. Yeah, it was perfect. <laughs> I, I got there. We sat around for an hour waiting for uh, some of the guys to show up because we were going to move, we were going to uh, change tires on the sprayer. Uh, well, they did that while I went and delivered tables. Yeah. Um, and you got a nap. Came back. They weren't doing anything. I sat down. I took a nap. <laughs> woke up. Had lunch. <laughs> went. Did uh, work, I guess. <laughs> and then I went home. <laughs> what the heck? Yeah, it wasn't even that bad of work, honestly. I just kind of sat there. You know, pushing a hose So you around. want a new job because uh, you don't like taking naps. Well, okay, here's the thing, though. It's not going to stay like that. Oh, really? It's going to Because get come October, uh, it's a light switch. I'm going to be working... They're going to bump my hours from 8 to 5 to 7 to 8. What? They're going to have me work half days. 13 hours? Yeah. Then they're going to have me work half days, potentially. Then they're going to have me work half days on Saturdays. And then, at the very end of the season, there's a likelihood that I might have to, for a week or two, work every single day. And sun and Sunday will be like a half day. Wow. Yeah. So now you see why I want to leave. Ah, uh, I see. And all I'm going to be doing is sitting there handling... Highly uh, dangerous chemicals, which I like. But, but think at the about same all the time, overtime pay. Overtime pay you'll get. I don't care. Five. I, I was. I'm going to make a 500 bucks a week. And I'm like, that's actually. Somebody was telling me like, how do you? They were talking. Somebody I was talking to. They were like, you can't live on thirty thirty thousand dollars a year. I'm living on twenty six. Yeah. It's fine. I have extra. I have five hundred bucks every month that I get to spend on whatever. So, as far as I'm concerned, well, I yeah. guess they don't have. I guess you don't have mortgages to pay, car payments or anything. I pay for rent, and food. all this crap, and gas, and my insurance, and food. Yeah, but geez. food. Food is part of the random crap. Yeah, but food isn't that much. Oh, that's true. Yeah, pizza rolls don't cost that much. I don't even eat pizza rolls. Eat corn, chicken. A lot of chicken. I only eat chicken. chicken. I don't eat any... Well, I take that back. My grandma gives me food. Mm -hmm. And she gives me uh, squirks. Squirks? Ba okay, so basically the original way of eating squirks is you'd get lard that you yeah. would use in other recipes. Well, in the lard, there's little bits of cured pork. Mmm. Uh, and well, as they bake the lard down, you get a bunch of these little pieces of cured pork. Squarks. Squarks. It's basically ground up bacon. Oh. And she has been getting a bunch of ground up bacon from, because she says she's poor. And so she goes to the, uh, to the, uh, so once every month they come through with a food truck yeah. and they give out free food. And she's like, well, I'm, I'm, I'm poor. I'm like, Grandma, no, you're not. <laughs> you just retired. And she's like, well, I don't get free food anyways. So, like, I've got, like, three pounds of hamburger in my, my freezer that she doesn't use. She gave me all oh, this. Oh, your beef. I haven't eaten the beef yet, and I'm just going to share it with my ex-roommates. Oh, yeah. We're going to have burgers some night. <gasps> you need to get grill first. No, I don't, not, not here. I've been their place. Oh. And, well, yeah. I need a sous vide cooker. Sous vide cooker? Yeah, but I burned my budget this week on uh, movies. Because uh, I, I bought House. Yeah. I bought Back to the Future. That was your whole budget? Well, hold on. Not done yet. I bought Smoking the Man at 1 and 2 today. Mm -hmm. And then I also pre ordered uh, Black Widow. Was Black Widow the most expensive one? No, House was. House? Because they bought all eight seasons. Oh, I But see. it was a deal. It went from 300 some odd dollars to $69.99. What? Yeah. $300? To $69.99 for 
X- nice. U- yeah. <laughs> nice. For XHD. So it's like, like I could watch it in 4K. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Like, I saw it and I went, oh, What? Bye. Oh. I didn't, it wasn't even a, I didn't even question it. I just clicked buy. And I'm like, I didn't even, qu- I didn't even, because I mean, I get to watch it a little faster than watching it through Amazon. Because watching it on Am- actually, it's, I almost, I don't know. What? Because, like, on Amazon, before each episode, you have to watch an ad. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's about the only hindrance of watching it on Amazon Prime. Uh. Voodoo, you just watch it all the way, you just. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you can't skip the intro, and, so, eh, it might work out to be about the same. But by the way, now I can watch it wherever and whenever I want. Yeah, that's true. I don't need internet if I download all, every episode. <laughs> but How anyway, many gigs is that? I don't want to know. And I wish, no, I really wish I had actually spreed and gotten the uh, the more the the iPad Air with the more storage in it. I well, I oh, however, I guess I still do have my uh, amp, my Kindle, and I guess I could uh, throw an SD card in there. Yeah. And then I could download all of my movies and just use that to watch movies. But what were these older guys telling you about? They can't live off of uh, thirty thousand a year. Yeah, there wasn't even. Yeah, they weren't even that old. They were just like, you can't do that. Everybody's like, you can't live off thirty. And I'm like, mm-hmm. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> that was pre- that was before tax. This five hundred dollars a week is after tax. So it's like so they were like what get another job or something or what? So I guess technically I'm probably making above thirty thousand dollars a year. So they wanted you to get another job? No, they're just like get a job that pays more than this. Yeah, mm-hmm. but I don't know. It, it, it this was back in May when we were talking about the UBT one, and I told them I'd work for thirty. Oh, this is Menards people you're talking to. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh. Again, we don't talk at work. Oh, yeah, that's right. We I just, was like, I thought this is a conversation with the people that you work with. No, the only time they really talk is to make fun of my old classmate that I work with. They literally use the same exact insults we used. And he still <laughs> uses the same exact comebacks he used then. You know, I was talking to Waterballs, like, people change. No, not this guy. This guy has literally not changed <laughs> at all. And the insults we use against him, they haven't changed at all either. <laughs> what? So, I don't know... I don't, not quite sure what he, I don't, I don't know, water bottle's theory doesn't apply to this guy, apparently. <laughs> no, and he's just as stupid. I was, I was sitting with him today, we were, uh, hooking up in Hydra's tanks, because we're gonna start filling them Wednesday or Thursday, when yeah. the auditors finish going through, and he was driving with two feet, like Flynn. What? <laughs> I looked down, I'm like, the hell? <laughs> He had his left foot on the brake, and I'm like, I mean, he's probably used to driving stick, maybe, and that's why. Oh, wait, that's what you meant. I was thinking, like, he had his knees controlling the steering wheel. No, 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 he was using both his feet to drive. What? Yeah, like Flynn. Oh, I see. And I'm like, okay... I, I think he's probably used to... A driving clutch. a clutch? And yeah, so... and so that's when you do use two feet... Yeah. But... But, I mean, even with a clutch, you still use your right foot to brake. No. Well, yes, but you also need to put, like... Yes, with a clutch, you would you need to use both feet. Yeah. Well, you use both feet to stop, yes, because you have to disengage the transmission. Yeah. To and f- to go. And to go, yes. So you're constantly driving with two feet. You never would just hit the brake. Yeah, yeah, no. Because a brake cannot stop the car. No. Only time you drive well, actually, one foot is to just... Yeah. Once you're going. Because now, the, I, I talked to my dad about how, it's kind of interesting how it works. Because I, I learned the hard way that you can't stop a manual with the brakes. It's, there's too much power to stop a moving vehicle. You have to disengage the transmission. So there's no power going to the motor. I always, I Which always, is what the clutch does. I've always used the clutch. And then you brake. Because I, tri- I was driving the tractor. And I was like, uh, why can't I stop? You did the clutch. Oh yeah. Well, a tractor's completely different because a tractor doesn't even have a gas pedal. It just has a throttle. Yeah, yeah. It has a throttle, and then it has 
Uh, two, two brakes. brakes. You, have a, you have a right wheel brake, a left wheel brake, yep. and then the clutch. Yep. And so I was hitting the brakes. And then and your it, gear shifter's down here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep, yep, yep. 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 Just like my dad's. And the throttle's up here. You know, you know what's funny? <laughs> your dad's tractor's probably from the 90s or the 80s. Yeah. No, I'd say 80s or 70s. My dad's from the 50s. <laughs> Same <laughs> thing. Hasn't changed. <laughs> Hasn't changed. Uh, throttle's up here. Yeah. But anyways, like, yeah, I mean, it's a little disc thing, too. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, 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 what? So my so my dad's throttle is this disc and then there's this little handle and there's notches in the disc and there's a notch in the thing. Well it's just like a little lever and then you just move it up and down. Okay, they but well, they did progress somewhat. It's like a little lever you but here's up. the thing about this one though. It's spring action, so it's actually controlling in the motor, oh. manually, not electronically. Oh, really? The thing that's actually controlling how much ga uh, air choke. and gasoline. The choke. Yeah, it's actually controlling the choke. Oh my god! <laughs> but anyways, you no, know, the thing's so old is that it's like one of the first ones with an electric start. Yeah. So there's technically still a crank at the t at the front of it. Oh. <laughs> yeah, because it I, died. I don't remember what we were doing, but he was like, Why? "Yeah, can you bring the tractor over here?" You know, and. So I bring it over there, and then I start getting close. Like, uh, 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 the brakes the aren't the brakes aren't working. Yeah, the, <laughs> the clutch. Then just, and then, and then it goes. You know, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. It, it's thing gets stuck in first gear. Really? Yeah. So I mean, my dad's gets stuck in neutral. It's hard to get it into gear. Oh, that's, oh, that's what it is. Yeah. yeah. Well, it, it so getting, yeah, going from neutral, it goes, and then you can finally shift it into. Oh yeah, Persecuted. and tractors are great because so unlike in an actual manual for a car, you can start in high gear. Oh really? Yeah, because they're all because it's made. It's actually not made for you to change. At least my dad's H, anyways. It's not made to change gears while you're driving. No, because each wait, but one, don't you have to you have to start it in neutral though, right? Yeah, yeah. But, each, but you can sh go from neutral to fourth gear or whatever, however yeah. many gears it has. Yep. You don't go to fifth gear. No, there is. Yeah. Is there a fifth gear? I think so. Why does a tractor need a fifth gear? It's driving down the road. Oh. But I think fifth gear. Actually, well, fifth gear on this thing is a little too fast. You're just like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's in there. So you only, you only <laughs> ever put it in fourth. <laughs> we don't need five horses for this bad boy. No, because you're like. You're not going. That, uh, you're usually not going that far, so there's no need to ever put it in fourth. Yeah. I mean fifth, so you always just put it in fourth. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but so they all because it's a tractor, so they're all meant to pull things. Yeah. So, so the you torque, want you need more torque, and more torque is in the lower gear. Well, it's also in the higher gears because again, it has to pull things with every single gear. That's oh. why a tractor is able to start at in fourth gear, unlike your car, it can't. Yeah. It has to be in one. <laughs> one. Yeah, otherwise, you well, you blow the transmission out on your car. Yeah. That, that doesn't happen in a, in a tractor. Just, it doesn't... For one thing... What I want is gear. multiple reverse gears. <laughs> the Mythbusters <laughs> talked about this. Remember when they switched the motor in a car? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So then you drive... You're always driving... So, like, to see if it's more uh, efficient... Yeah. So they're driving the car backwards, but they were in drive. Yeah. Do you remember that episode? No. Oh. Well, they took the body of a car and flipped it on the frame. Yeah. So that Adam's like sitting here like this because the front windshield's at his head. And oh. he's looking out the back windshield driving forward. So oh. technically, you had multiple gears of reverse because... Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And did, he, did, he, like did he drive in reverse in like fourth gear? <laughs> no, 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 well, no, it was a car. So he was like, you know, it was a, it was an automatic. Well, yeah. So, so going, but you only had, but a car only has one reverse going. So he only had one gear to go forward. Yes, but he wasn't facing that direction. Oh. But it was so like from did the it outside, work? it looked like he had multiple gears going in reverse. And actually, right. they talked about driving in reverse. The reverse gear in cars, some of them anyways, you can go. Really fast. <laughs> really? Yeah. Like, th it, I, 30, 40 miles an hour. <laughs> oh my god. In reverse. You never need to go that fast before it ever, like, starts ticking towards, like, 3,000 <laughs> RPMs. Well, obviously, you could push it further than that if you wanted to. Yeah, I'm out of second reverse gear. No. R2. <laughs> well, I, so, you know, uh, you want to talk about having too many gears? 
my uh, uncle's tractor, so my dad's brother, yeah. it has like 17 gears. What? Yeah, it's just, there's like a billion gears what? on this thing. It's <laughs> But what like, so like a bunch of them are for just towing. So like, you'd never use like seventeenth gear because it's like a high gear meant for towing really heavy things. No. But we're never doing anything like that. <laughs> Seventeen gears. Something stupid. It's a lot of gears. Anyways, uh, we should probably move on to the next segment, even though there's still more to talk about. With, uh, oh yeah, with the, wait, wait. I guess real quick. Job. So, what kind of jobs are you looking for? So, okay, so then I called my dad Friday afternoon. I'm like, Dad, I hate this job. He's like, how was your first week? I'm like, I hate it. I got to get out of here. I'm going to dust the resume off this weekend, and I'm applying for jobs. And he's like, okay. About 10 o'clock rolls around. <coughs> I'm like a half hour from going to bed. I didn't go to bed at 11. I went to bed at midnight. But anyways, yeah. uh, I get a phone call from him. He's like, I may have found you a new job. And I'm like, what? <laughs> oh, I'm sure, what? I'm sleeping. He's at the state fair, and he's just like, yeah, uh, talk to this guy. You, we used to show with him. Uh, call him on Monday. I'll send him his number. He does uh, commodity trading. So ag mm -hmm. commodity trading. Which, ironically, is kind of what I originally wanted to do way back when I first picked my major. Oh, really? Yeah, I wanted to be a stockbroker. Mm. This isn't stocks, it's commodities, but it's similar. Yeah. And I'm like, I've gone full circle. Mm. So I called the guy today, and he's like, yeah, call me next week, because I'm get, I'm doing a bunch of state fair stuff this week. But call me next week, and we'll set up a time. You'll have to leave work early and come down. All the way back down to guess where? Where our cousin works. Actually, I'll have to go even Beatrice. further. She doesn't work in Beatrice anymore. She oh. works in DeWitt. Oh, DeWitt? But I will have to probably go to Beatrice, not DeWitt. But, uh, this same principle, I have to drive all the way down there still. Mm. Again. Again. Not looking forward to it. <laughs> At least that morning, I'm going to have coffee so that on the way back, I'm not wanting to kill myself falling yeah. asleep. So I will have some coffee that morning. Hopefully it'll last all day. Anyways. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm doing that next week. Next week's very busy. <laughs> I should play that song for you after this. Is it good? It's interesting. <laughs> There's only the one recording of it that you can find anyways, and it's at a live concert. Hmm. Anyways, uh... So anyways, uh... Yeah, so next week's very busy. Uh, uh, the Next week's very busy for me. So, you know, Monday, we're, I'm beginning back from the trip, uh... Uh, that Tuesday or Wednesday, I gotta call this guy. Then I gotta go visit him. Mm -hmm. Wednesday, probably. Thursday night, I have a thing for work. After work, some banquet, some customer appreciation thing. I should probably go, even though I'll probably hand in my two weeks. <laughs> Literally that morning. <laughs> Anyways. Oh, yes. oh, by the way. I'm quitting, and yes, I will be at the banquet tonight. I'll take the free food. <laughs> I'll take the free food. Anyways, uh... And then Friday, uh, I need to still text her, but I'm going to see that new Marvel movie that's coming out, that comes out uh, this weekend. Unless, <laughs> just wait, something pops up and you can't go. Nah, it should be fine. It's fine. I know, remember the, the reference? Oh, <laughs> freaking COVID. <laughs> that's what I said. I said, like, yeah, I won't go to Black Widow unless something pops up a year later. <laughs> well, damn it. <laughs> I was crazy. It's like, yeah, what? Something pops up and you can't go. <laughs> Literally COVID. <laughs> no one. We were talking about COVID in that podcast, yeah. too. I think that, was, uh, that was, was like one of the first podcasts when we started talking yeah, about it. Why did it never cross our minds that, hey, they might shut that down for, I don't <laughs> know. They're making us wear masks, though, again. Yeah, no. Not at my job. Oh, at, at we're supposed to, but you know, at IV they're supposed. Well, I guess people don't because you know it's like they're here shopping, they're here spending money. We kind of want them here. They're paying. Where they're, are they gonna go? They're paying customers. Where are we gonna send them? Across the street to Walmart? If they want to shop at Walmart, here's the thing. Here's the thing about Hy-Vee. 
they're shopping at Hy-Vee because they want to shop at Hy-Vee. Because they don't want to go to Walmart. Yes. Exactly. So if you tell them to put a mask on, they're still not going to go to Walmart. Because they don't <laughs> want to shop at Walmart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're... <laughs> that's, the, that's the beauty of being at this higher price bracket. Mm-hmm. People are shopping there because they want to shop there. Yes. I go to Walmart, it's like... It. I'll just order <laughs> online from Walmart. Or I'll just go to a different Walmart. You know? If I want to shop Walmart, there's three other Walmarts in town I can go to. Or I can order it. Or if if the item's on sale at Super Saver, I can go to Super Saver. It's the only... Super Saver's the only... Super Saver and the only thing... Are the only places that still run sales. Like, big sales. Yeah. That's the only time they ever maybe beat out Walmart. Yeah. Depending on the item. <laughs> yeah. Only time. And that's if you don't buy na- uh, non-name brand items at Walmart. Yeah. yeah. If you buy non-brand damn items at Walmart like I do, <laughs> it doesn't matter what they charge. <laughs> Walmart's still lower. <laughs> yeah. That, that, that uh, Heinz tomato ketchup? Nope. You, you can get great value ketchup. You can get <laughs> great value. <laughs> you can get great value. That's, that's smart. Up. Yeah. Now, granted, craft I do, I do use craft uh, ranch. That's just because, well, I don't trust. <laughs> ranch is one of those things. I don't trust. You, you, you gotta great spend value. the money to get the higher quality. Yeah, I don't trust Great Value. I don't even trust Hidden Valley. Make good ranch. I had Hidden Valley ranch the other day. It was nasty. Really? I switched to craft. It, it was wasn't so expired, was it? No. Hmm. It was just runny, and tasted. Did you shake it? Yeah. It tasted bad. The craft is nice and thick and creamy. It tastes yeah. good. Anyways, 